What's going on in the news today, Monday, February 15th, 2016. Hey everybody, so I wanted to go over some entertainment and other news today. Uh, we've got stuff from Daredevil, Deadpool, Spawn Movie, the Star Wars Episode 8, Darth Maul, LIGO's Gravitational Waves, and the fastest data transfer rate ever recorded. So first up, just want a quick mention. Uh, the new Daredevil Season 2 trailer hit, and I did my reaction for it earlier. And I'll have a link for that below, so check that out. I think Punisher is going to be awesome. I'm liking Punisher. And moving quickly on over to Deadpool. What a weekend for Deadpool. Oh my gosh. It is breaking all kinds of records. So the previous record for a rated R comic book uh, movie was Wanted, made $135 million domestic gross, U.S. gross. Deadpool broke that in its three-day record for the weekend. That's crazy. That is crazy. So it made $135 million on a three-day weekend record, and it made $150 million on the four-day record, which is including the Thursday night showings. Fox must be, like, over the moon not understanding what's going on because they didn't even want to make the movie in the first place. And the movie only cost $58 million. That was the budget Fox gave uh, Tim Miller to do Deadpool. $58 million. And it tripled, almost almost tripled that. What? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. The movie's great. You can see my review for it below also. I'll have a link to that. On to Spawn. So, Todd McFarlane announced that uh, he finished a script for a new Spawn movie. And when I first heard that, I was like, yeah, I love Spawn. I have the first 50 comics. I collected them when they first came out. I loved the original, the first movie with Michael Jaya White. That's what made me a Michael Jaya White fan. But it was, it was a kid's, kind of a kid's movie. I still loved it. I thought it was good, especially for the time period. But... Then I heard about what McFarlane's script is kind of going to want to be about, what he talked about it, and I'm unsure. I'm pretty unsure. So it's going to be a hard R, which I think with Deadpool that would help it, being a hard R. But he tells fans it won't be a superhero movie, not even an action movie. This is how he puts it. I'd put it more into horror, suspense, supernatural genre, Todd McFarlane said. If you take the movie The Departed meets Paranormal Activity, something like that. His goal is to make the Spawn character something unique uh, in the world of a new film. And I don't know if that'll go over well. I mean, if pe people want to see a Spawn movie, they want to see Spawn. They don't want to see some side characters and have Spawn kind of be in the background. A few movies made that mistake. You have, uh, I love the Hellraiser movies. I'm a Pinhead fan, but they made that mistake with uh, some of the other sequels where Pinhead wasn't in it. And then people are like, well, why am I watching this? You know, or Jason Goes to Hell. It's the worst movie of all of the Jason movies, even though they're not great movies, but we still like watching them. Jason goes to hell, Jason wasn't in it, so nobody liked it. And then, you know, you've whenever you take away your principal character and not have them in the movie, you know, just like War of the Worlds, the Spielberg movie, I didn't like that movie. Because it stripped away everything that was War of the Worlds, and you just followed Tom Cruise and his kids running around and staying in a basement for most of the movie. You didn't get any of the aliens, you didn't get any of the... Well, much. You didn't get much of the aliens. You didn't get any of the scientists in the military and trying to figure out what's going on. All the stuff from the original story that made it great. And I'm afraid that McFarlane's script might be doing the same thing the way that he's explaining it. Is that he's just going to strip away everything that makes Spawn cool and then make him some kind of ethereal background supernatural thing. 
and we're going to follow some characters that we don't know or don't really care about. So I'm hesitant, but I'm going to wait until I see some more information. I know he hasn't even started shopping it around to get funding yet, so we'll see what happens. Darth Maul is back, and he's going to be in Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels. It was uh, kind of inadvertently spilled by a toy company during the New York Toy Fair when they released the new Darth Maul toy. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Darth Maul did come back in the Clone Wars. He had robotic legs because he's only half a man now. And so he's got different robotic legs for this show. And if you uh, watch the Season 2 mid-season trailer, which I did a reaction for below, uh, I put a link in it below, but I did earlier. And I didn't pick this up, but if you look really, really carefully, the old master that you see is actually Darth Maul with a hood. But it's hard to tell. You'd have to be looking really close to catch that. But I like Darth Maul. I like that character. I thought he was good in the Clone Wars uh, show also, so I'm excited. I'd like to see what they're going to do in uh, the rest of Season 2 for Star Wars Rebels. I like that show. If you haven't seen it, you might want to check it out. Uh, it is a kid's show, but I, I still like it. It really feels like a Star Wars show. I love it. Some more Star Wars news. Star Wars Episode Eight started principal photography. And we've got some three new cast members this time. Belicio Del Toro, which I love. I love him. I hope he does very well. I think he's great to put him in the Star Wars universe. Anything he does is good for the most part. Also, Laura Dern, which I think she will do a good job too. I'm interested to see what her character is going to be. And then they have a newcomer, uh, Kelly Marie Tran. And I know absolutely nothing about her. So it'll be cool to see what what kind of stuff we'll be getting here in the future maybe some production pictures and uh, hopefully a trailer by the end of the year we'll probably get a trailer around the time of rogue one coming out but they're going to want to concentrate on rogue one until it comes out from my opinion i wouldn't release any trailers or teasers or anything of episode eight until after rogue one is released you don't want to have your star wars Give us one Star Wars at a time. Don't be promoting two at the same time, in my opinion. Now in science news, exciting information for all you science buffs is that uh, LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, has proven Einstein's theory of gravitational waves. Einstein had predicted gravitational waves math mathematically with his uh, theory of relativity in 1916, and then uh, the idea is if you have a super massive gravitational object or objects that are rotating at super high speed like a neutron star or two black holes rotating around each other about to collide, that you'll create these rifts, these ripples, and those would be gravitational waves that we could predict. Hundred years later, we have proven it. LIGO was able to prove gravitational waves. Big, big news for those people that are in the Einstein world and uh, theory of relativity. I love watching Einstein's theories getting proven right. And finally in science news, researchers in the UK have created the fastest data transfer rate ever. 1.125 terabytes per second. Per second. <laughs> That's crazy. The example they used is you could download the entire season of Game of Thrones in HD in one second. <laughs> Wouldn't you like that kind of uh, broadband? I know I would. I would love that kind of broadband. But they did it using multiple wavelengths on uh, like fiber optics, an optical communication system. They have a lot of different types of uh, fiber optics using different wavelengths. And then it's all goes to the same receiver and is uh, translated. Now, I'm going to have an article for this and everything else that I talked about in this video. All the articles that I read are going to be linked below so you can check them out. Comment below and let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, 
and I will see you guys on the next video.